welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today's video has been long awaited i feel like i've had deliveries coming in from zara for a while because there's been mess ups with my orders i had all intentions of getting this video up before valentine's and doing like dresses and date night ideas slash casual outfits that you want to wear on galentine's that's now passed so forget that i just had mix-ups with my orders so i actually have one, two, three, four, five, six parcels from Zara. That's how many different orders and delays and everything, complications that I've had from putting in an order with Zara. But anyway, I did also want to try out this brand, which is a like a branch of Zara. It's called Oisho. And it's a bit like, you know how they do, they've got Pull&Bear, Bershka, Stradivarius. It's all kind of the same umbrella company i've never tried always show and i've really wanted to and quite often you guys send me links to things that you think that i would like so they do really nice kind of active wear casual work from home style lounge wear and i just really like the branding and everything so i did pick up some bits to try out from that i think because a lot of you will have clicked on for zara though i might save that parcel until the end i do also have a zara home box i think there's only a couple of things in here so actually i'll just open this one first this is something that i've got for our drawers it comes in a tube like so and it's called clementine is the scent these are scented papers that you can put in your drawer there are six pieces included within this and I'll leave links to everything that is still available down below because I want to say the price that I paid for it, but quite a lot of these things weren't in the sale, so they're either gonna be reduced further, they might not be in stock anymore. I'll leave all the links that I can down in the description box below. This was in the sale as well, I remember, and it is a humongous Zara Home body wash. This is in the scent Basilicum. Oh my gosh, I love that. <gasps> if you like Jo Malone, Basil and Neroli, if ever you've smelt that, insane. It's that kind of herby scent. This I love. And then I have ordered this little one separately. The reason being is because you'll see in the other boxes, I got a knitted cardigan in this like khaki color really wanted the matching leggings and they were out of stock in my size until after I put in the order and they did come back in stock in my size so I picked them up in the hope that I'll like them as a set I love the color of it in person it's definitely more of a gray kind of khaki really really wearable shade love a knit legging so much so comfy so i picked these up in a medium at 19.99 and like i said with that knitted cardigan to go with it i think that would be a beautiful set okay this next box just has one item in it and it is a pair of shoes one of you guys actually sent me a link to these boots again after i'd put in my order and i love them so much and they're in the sale that i was like i'm just gonna order them so i actually picked up a few pairs of boots you'll see in this video these ones are beautiful they're that typical chunky boot style shoe um i do size up to a seven i'm usually like a six six and a half size up to a seven in zara shoes especially boots because you can kind of pad them out with thick socks so uh yeah how nice is this color this is like the perfect neutral kind of creamy beige again it's got almost like a slight khaki green to it i have picked up some khaki green boots though i know everyone's kind of like jumped on that trend but i just really like them and actually my last zara chunky boots that i got in my last zara haul the black ones i have worn so much already feel like i've got my money's worth in them yeah see that's definitely more of a gray i would say this is the knitter's cardigan this is in the next box now 29.99 again i got this in a medium it's nice and thick and weighty which i love it does have a tight waist detail as well and this is definitely more of a like dark gray i would say than a khaki it looks more green online i do really like this i just feel like maybe this color might even be a little bit more wearable than a khaki so yeah happy with that these leggings these are, see these are more of a khaki style these are called faded leggings they are 14.99 in a medium i got these and they're just a super like high waist plain simple cotton legging in this faded kind of again faded khaki kind of color if you compare it to the other one you can see how much 
lighter this is to the darker kind of khaki gray and yeah i am a fan i am living in leggings all day every day especially dog walking now i am getting out and about a lot in leggings and sweatshirts so I picked up a few sort of basics as well within this video. So I picked up this knitted vest in cream. I did go for a large just to size up so it's slightly more oversized on me. Again, this kind of trend with like a knitted vest and shirt underneath, I love the look of. I love the quality of this one. It's super um, soft, which sometimes with a knit, if it's itchy, I just cannot deal with it. So yeah, I really, really love this. Great quality one that again, I think will be a piece that will last, you know, for a really long time in my wardrobe, even if I wear it on the odd occasion rather than like an everyday basis. It's definitely, I don't know, I just want to get more nice outfits. <laughs> I'm just like really craving now to just get dressed up in something a little bit different and go to a cafe or go out for brunch. <sighs> I got this t-shirt in the set. I think this is actually from the menswear. I love the little kind of design on the front. Super minimal, but a bit trend-led. Love this colour. Really, really nice beige colour. In a medium at $19.99. I kind of wish I'd sized up even more to maybe wear these with like this sort of a top with cycling shorts and, or like leggings. Instead, I probably would be more inclined to wear that with leather look leggings and a black blazer maybe. Oh, See, I'm just craving wearing something different to sweatshirt and leggings, even though that is my happy place. I love these Zara body suits that they do. I have quite a few. <laughs> I have quite a, a collection, but um, I saw this new one in this um, bone kind of color. In a medium to large, I got this at $14.99. It's actually part of the Limitless Contour Collection, which I love. They are items that are made from like a really nice, soft ribbed knit. And this is just a plain and simple bodysuit. See what I mean by like a bone colour? It's almost got a slight creamy yellow colour to it. Really good summer staple. I feel like this one is going to be. And I love the kind of racer back design to it. Honestly, for the best bodysuits, Zara. Amazing. I picked up some joggers in a medium at $19.99. These are pockets cuffed at the bottom. Oh, they actually have a little turn up. I like that. And it's kind of a ribbed finish to them at the bottom as well. These are, again, super, super soft. Probably a very impractical colour, but hey-ho. Okay, the last thing in this box is this. Somewhere Nowhere Zara Improbable 001 Eau de Toilette. I think this was 3 dollars from memory. And I love a Zara perfume, especially for, like, an in-your-handbag. Like, look how nice, sleek and minimal that packaging is. Honestly, I love it. Oops. I just done did it, but let's have a little spritz. Oh, nice. This is super, super fresh and light. Oh, I love that. And when the packaging is nice as well, I always feel like all the more of a bargain you've got. Even if it was in a bathroom on display or in a spare bedroom on the side, maybe that'd be really nice for guests when we can eventually have them and once we've renovated this place which we are so close to getting underway with now, which is so exciting. Um, okay, so this last box actually has the last two items from Zara, the boots. These ones I bought for dog walks, and I just wanted an alternative to a welly, and these were in the sale again, I think these were 15 pounds, which for a walking boot like this is so good. And especially if it's not like a super, super muddy walk where I wear wellies, it's nice to have an alternative that maybe if you do pop into a cafe to get a takeaway coffee, that you're in something a little bit nicer. But anyway, at 15 quid or whatever it was, I ah, just, you can't really go wrong. So again, I sized up to a size seven in these and I bit the bullet and got the khaki ones. I didn't go with the ones that like go all the way up to the knee just because I feel like maybe they are a little harder to style up and wear and um, but i did go for the ankle ones the chunky oh my god these are super chunky maybe these are too chunky just i see so many girls on instagram wearing these and they look amazing and i do love them but i just feel like on me especially as i size up in boots am i gonna look like bigfoot oh my god they're not that big in terms of fitting definitely size up That is the definition of a chunky boot. I'm gonna have to have a play around with those and style them up and see how I feel with them. Okay, last but not least, let's move on to the bits that I got from Oisho now. Honestly, 
if you're after like leggings, workout gear, loungewear, check them out. They are amazing for their branding and everything. So I picked up a couple of sets, mostly leggings actually, because I love finding a good quality pair of leggings. These ones that I'm currently wearing are insane. Love them. They are from Lululemon. They're 88 pounds. <laughs> And I'm a bargain hunter, bargain lover. So to pay that amount of money for a good quality pair of leggings, no matter how good they are, is a bit of a like, ugh, feeling. I'm not gonna lie. But I thought I would treat myself to these for my birthday. So I have been loving them and they are a really nice fit. They stay up, which is amazing and just what I want. I, there's nothing worse than having to like pull up leggings throughout the day. Um, H&M is another really good place. Again, I just get a little bit of that where I have to pull up during the day. These you don't, they are amazing. But here's to hoping I found a cheaper pair from Oisho. So this is actually a set that I picked up in khaki. Again, I love khaki. I think it's a really nice color. I was gonna say on blondes, but actually brunettes as well. Especially when you've got a tan, khaki can be really nice. So this is a like racerback style crossover, sports bralette top. Like they've even got the same kind of labeling as Zara, the little join life tag there. So this is high resistant fabric, breathable, removable cups in a medium. And it's got the Oisho branding along the banding and the matching uh, leggings that come with it, I picked up in a medium. And they seem really stretchy, super, super soft. I feel like they're nice and thick as well. There's nothing worse again than having a thinner legging where you can like see your cellulite and your lumps and bumps. You want something to be really supportive. So these feel so good. I'm excited to wear that as a set as well, actually. And then I also got this to kind of just throw over the top or even just have with jeans. It's like a cropped style sweat in this really light sage kind of khaki gray almost. Uh, I did get this one in a large and I wouldn't say it's particularly oversized. I mean, it is a cropped fit. The softness of this is insane. And then I got four pairs of black leggings because let's face it, black is the most practical. They're the ones that I tend to opt for most often, so I really wanted to test it out, and I got four different styles to try, so I'm gonna give them all a, a real good wear and good go to see how much I find if they drop during the day, if they wash well, and then probably update you guys, maybe over on my Instagram, on how I get on with these, because I do really wanna give like a good review and then maybe leave swipe ups to the ones that I really recommend. These are called the compressive high rise water vapor transmission high resistant fabric very high solar protection upf 40 plus so there you go i feel like that would be a really good uh, walking legging super stretchy and soft as well then i've opted for this one which is called the comfort Lux high rise and this feels most like the ones that i've got on from lululemon they are that same kind of fabric. These ones are a slightly different style. These are called the compressive high rise again, but they are slightly more, like they're not just a plain standard legging. They have this kind of tie waist detail here. Definitely one because of the more detailing on it. I feel like I could get away with wearing these with something cropped, like that cropped jumper. And it also has a bit of almost like biker style ribbing on the bottom there. So this one has a bit more to it in terms of the look, but it's that same compressive style. And then this one again has a little more something to it with a tie waist. This is the comfort high rise, high resistant fabric. So more of like a relaxed, I want to say jogger style, but they're obviously not joggers. They are definitely leggings. These are everything that I picked up from Oisho. I'm excited to give them a good review, a try out, and see how I get on with them because I think, in my opinion, there's nothing better than finding a good quality basic. And if I find one, I want them in every color. I want multiple so that if one's in the wash, then I've always got one that I can wear. So that is everything that I have picked up from Zara. Do let me know which were some of your favorites. Do give this a thumbs up if you want more Zara hauls in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.